what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? 25-year-old Tamlin Yoder said she spent most of her shift on Wednesday putting together the 75-item order for Christ Fellowship at the Outback where she worked in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. We take the order over the phone, we put the order together, take the payment, then take the order to the car, Yoder told the Palm Beach Post. It's a lot of work, just as much as serving. Tamlin said she made just $18 in tips. Since she spent most of her time on the church's order of 25 steaks, 25 chickens, and 25 potatoes. Enraged. She didn't go to the manager. She didn't take her complaint to the customer. She went to Facebook and aired out the church to the whole world. One of her friends saw the post and he told her, hey, man, you need to take that down. Let me contact the church and see if they'll remedy the problem. The next day she goes to work, finds out that the whole $735 has been refunded to the church, and she is fired. Now, she gets in the media and she plays the victim. An outback spokeswoman says that Tamlin was fired because she violated the company's policy prohibiting employees from talking about customers online. The church said that they had contacted the restaurant after hearing about the complaint from Tamlin's friend to see about getting her a tip. They did finally catch up with her and Tamlin said that she had received a tip in excess of 20%. The minimum wage for tipped employees in Florida is $5.23 an hour, although opinions vary about tipping orders on carryout. Now, this is what Tamlin had to say, y'all. Check this out. This is what she had to say about tipping. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Check out the statement that Tamlin gave a local news station. Coming in to eat or take out, you should automatically be wanting to tip 15%. From there, you can either go up or down based on service. I don't think so. I'm a generous tipper. But putting food in containers and bagging it up is not the same as waiting on somebody at a table, going back and forth, checking on them listening to their stupid ass jokes from time to time, or even their complaints for the whole time that you're serving them. Total different experience. You don't get 15% or anywhere close to that for putting food in a bag. It's, it's not happening with me. Now, some people have different views on that, especially people who have worked. It's mainly people who have worked in the industry. But they have an ulterior motive. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they worked in, in the business. So, of course, they're going to say, oh, you need to be tipping all the time. Tip, 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 tip. But let's put the shoe on the other foot. I can guarantee you if a person who is waiting tables, that person who wait tables, I bet you that they would have some, something to say about a person who is working takeout getting the same kind of tips that they're getting. I can guarantee you, because it's a total different experience. If you bring my food to the car, uh, I might give you a couple of dollars. I'm gonna give you something. You know, you bring my food to the car, Sonic style takeout, you know, I don't give a damn how much the food I, I spent on the food. All you're doing is bagging the food up and bringing it to me. That's your job anyway. If you want more, be a waitress, be a waiter. You know, go and do what the real people do to get the tips. You know, wait on people and take their bullshit, deal with that bullshit. That's how you get to the real money. But just bagging up some food and bringing it out to the car, you think you're supposed to get 15% for that? No way, Jose. This chick sounds entitled. 
telling people what they need to be tipping for her bringing some food out to the car. Like I said, man, I ain't got no problem tipping. Like, I'm a generous tipper. Like, I mean, sometimes I tip 100% based on service. But no service of somebody just putting some food in a bag and handing it to me is going to be equal to somebody waiting on me. I don't know where they do that at. And now they got this thing where they automatically try to include it. Then they got the thing also where they try to keep your change. Oh, that's another thing, man. I got a problem with that. So they try to keep your change. This is what they do. Let's say your meal is, I don't know. Let's say your meal is $40. Let's say it's $42 and nine cents. They'll try to keep your 91 cents. But the thing is, is that if you have, if your meal is $42 and nine cents, they're not going to let you slide with the nine cents. But they want all of theirs and then they want to keep your change. Hell no. Give me everything that I'm due. Give me mine back. That's how that works. I know some of you waiter people out there, y'all gonna be pissed about this video. But hey, man, fast, fat, man. You know, you do the job, I ain't got no problem compensating you, and I'll compensate you generously. But I ain't, I ain't, ain't no free handouts over here. This woman got fired for one reason and one reason only. She is not a victim. She got fired because she violated the company's policy. She got fired because she went on Facebook and air that church out. Let this be a lesson to everybody else who's out there in that industry. If you got something to say about a customer, keep it to yourself. But if you're somehow compelled to share it with others, do not do it on social media. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?